and welcome to Reading Your Assumptions. Now we've got a new format for this video and I'm still working out the whole green screen thing as you can see it's not blending properly here and it's a little bit of fuzz on that side so I'm still working things out so bear with me but I figured for a first video with the green screen this would be a perfect fit for it. So ignoring all the green gunk in my hair we are going to move straight on to reading your assumptions. Now I took these mostly from Instagram so if you do have Instagram do give me a follow. Speaking of Instagram I'd like to say huge thank you to everyone who partook in the hashtag nom got this challenge that I put up. Here is your shout out in the video. I'll also be doing other challenges on my amino so if you have amino also check me out on that. Um, and we're going to start straight away. So um, X Maggie X says you like to cosplay. Personally I have never cosplayed and never really thought that I really wanted to. It's, it's never been a passion of mine so uh, no I have not cosplayed. Um, Mira Diamond something uh, Instagram uh, unfortunately cut off the rest of the name. Um, do you have lo you have loads of siblings? I do not have loads of siblings. I have one sibling. She has been in a video before and if you guys would like to see her again do let me know there'll be a poll up in the corner and I will try and drag her into a video. So whoops if I can yep. Iris Volcano Hill says you have a boyfriend. I don't know why this is always in assumption videos, but no, I do not have a boyfriend. Iris also says Queasy is your internet best friend. She is. There is no other way to say this. She is probably my internet best friend. Um, I met her on the internet. I have never met her before and I'm hoping that she's not a 50 year old man, but yes, she is my internet best friend. Uh, Leah Zapetto says you're very tidy and kind. Um, I'm not tidy. <laughs> I'm just looking at the stuff all around my desk and it's pretty messy. I, I um, <laughs> my room's always a bit of a mess and the desk is a mess. Um, I don't like to live in mess. It's just it happens because I get lazy and I get busy and I never actually get around to tidying things. It's not like grubby. It's just messy. Um, so no, I'm not tidy at all. SSR Ranch also says you're very positive. Yes, I do try to be positive because that's kind of what can really get you through a day if you're having a tough day and you just stay positive. That's why I kind of say at the end of my videos because being positive is the best thing you can do in life. So yes, I would say I'm very positive. Um, Star Stable Edits 2007 says you are secretly working for SSO. No, <laughs> I am not working for Star Stable. I have never actually been in contact with the team. They have never contacted me. Um, the only time I've really had any interaction was if I was commenting on something and they replied. Uh, something like that. So no, I do not work <laughs> for Star Stable. Um, Molly Johnson says you eat feet. I I'm going to go with no. Gacha Moon, again, Instagram is cutting off the name so I can't read all of them. Uh, you would kill for animals. Um, do you mean I would murder somebody for an animal? I mean, if I... I'm just gonna go with murder's not the solution to things. So, no, I will not kill anyone for an animal. But I do believe that we have to all treat animals as we would wish to be treated. Uh, so don't kill people as well. Moving on. Elite Woods says, you're a bit of a goody two shoes. No offense, I love you so much. And you do all your homework the day it's given. No. <laughs> I recently just finished school, um, but I am a bit of a procrastinator and you shouldn't be a procrastinator because it's not good for you. It's uh, really stressful, but I admit that I am a procrastinator and I, if I get something on Monday and it's due Thursday, I will literally do it Wednesday night. So no, I'm, I mean, I used to be more of a good student, I suppose. I used to, I'm not a bad student. Like I don't always talk in class and I'm not disruptive or anything. I just, I just need to do things my way, if you will. <laughs> so, no, I'm not a good at your shoes. Um, Madeline Shark something. Uh, you're really shy, but when you're uh, with close friends slash family, you are the complete opposite. Um, no, I don't think. I can be shy. I know, for example, when I moved to the school I'm currently at, or the school I was at just before, I was quieter because I don't like um, being 
say the really loud person in situations where people already know each other. I mean, I prefer to kind of observe and see how people behave and react and things like that so I can get a better grasp of if I would kind of fit in and what I can say and what I can't say. So I'm not shy, I'm tactful. <laughs> uh, but I tend to be uh, more confident, yes, around friends and family. Uh, but that's, I think, mostly a given for anyone. Um, next, uh, Bella Bo Birch Yore says, your favorite color is pink. I don't know where you got that assumption from, but yes, my favorite color is pink. Cute Welsh girl says, you talk a lot. <laughs> yes, I literally never shut up. I will talk continuously. I That's kind of why I'm good on Discord calls because I don't, oh, I try not to leave silences, but that does mean I ramble a lot and I will go off topic and talk about anything. <laughs> and I do it in real life as well. So yes, I do talk a lot. Um, Dawn uh, underscore Eck says that you are a single spoiled child. <laughs> No and no, I am not a single child because I have a sister and I'm not spoiled. I, uh, my parents believe very much in uh, teaching skills to kind of do things yourself. So they prefer to give me the tools in which I can use to get the things that I want. So not, that sounds really spoiled, but it's not. It's like if I want something, I have to go out and get it and work for it and prove that I actually want it or need it rather than just being like yes here you go um for example all the gear i got was through showing my dad and my mum how much i work and how much i'm really dedicated to this channel and how much i want to continue it uh so they didn't just give me it apropos of nothing so no i would not say i was spoiled maggie sso just a British girl who plays a horse game, is kind, amazing person, and who owns an amazing club that everyone likes. That is really sweet, Maggie. Thank you very much. Um, I am a British girl. I do play a horse game. Uh, kind and amazing, that's subjective. And uh, I do own uh, an amazing club. I mean, I call them amazing because I love them very, very much. Um, and everyone likes. Again, that's subjective. Not everyone will like you. That's just the way of the world. Um, but yeah i'm really proud of my club and i'm really happy to have them uh <laughs> if you were around when i made the club i uh, was never had any intentions of making a club i was never a club person i was very much an individual person i didn't like being in clubs i didn't like owning clubs but for some reason strong dream of sisterhood has just kind of stuck and i think i love everyone in it too much to kind of go back to just being on my own now so yeah ssr audrey says you're beautiful again as i said before it's completely subjective so as long as you in yourself are comfortable and happy where you are then everyone else can think what they want to but you also have to acknowledge the fact that everyone has an opinion um so it's up to you uh, abby dot h23 says you're rich in star coins let me just let me just um no not really <laughs> hello person uh i'm not rich in star coins i haven't bought star coins uh for a very long time i don't believe i bought star coins for myself since two years ago addison sso says you're an amazing person that tries hard at everything uh that's not true <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't try hard at everything because some things i just think aren't worth trying hard for but certainly you do have to try hard for some things, say for example school, it's really important to try hard at school to just to benefit yourself. A lot of the time it can seem like it's not benefiting you, but at the end of the day it is. So working hard and trying hard at school is really important, um, but sometimes I won't try hard at things I don't want to. <laughs> so. No, no, I don't try hard at everything. A mayor called something says you're super smart in school. Um, no, I, <laughs> I'm not super smart in general, but at school I try. But for example, I am terrible at languages. I failed, and I'm not kidding, I failed every single language class I ever took. That was Greek, French, and Spanish. I failed them miserably. So I really don't do well in languages, but for example, with sciences, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at English. So to say that you're like really smart in school, you'll all have your weaknesses and your strengths, I guess, but 
no, I'm not super smart in the sense of academically. Aluia Pauls says you're a really nice person and that's not an assumption, that's a fact. That's so cute, thank you so much. Thank you, Aluia. Goose underscore climbs says you have a boyfriend and if so, you should do a boyfriend plays this or so. Uh, I don't, <laughs> so I can't do that. And to be honest, um, my real life and my online life are very, very separate. Um, I don't like mixing them because of the fact that I don't always think that people in the real world that I say meet at school or meet out of school um, will necessarily understand what I do and respect it. So I prefer to keep things kind of separated, but that's just a personal preference. Um, so I don't know if that will be happening. Brooklington something says, you want to be a Star Stable ambassador. If I'm completely honest, not really. I'm gonna stick to just being a YouTuber for now. I don't I don't really want to be an ambassador for Star Stable. Jenny Eck says that you're starting uni, you're from Scotland, but don't have an accent. Um, I'm, <laughs> actually that's completely incorrect. Um, I'm not going to uni. I was planning to go and I got a couple offers from unis, but my number one choice I didn't get the call back for because I'm doing, oh, I want to do a BA in acting. Um, so I've decided to take a gap year to kind of work. I'm going to do a college course and I'm also going to focus more on my YouTube and stuff like that. So no, I'm not going to uni. Um, I'm not from Scotland. I live in Scotland, but I'm not from Scotland. I am technically English, but I was born in another country that I lived for 17 years of my life. And I don't have an accent because, well, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. It kind of fades in and out sometimes. Um, I don't have a Scottish accent because I have nothing to do with Scotland other than the fact that I now live here. So, uh, Rose Tondra Bell says, you're a spy for Star Stable Online. I'm watching you through my monitor. I see you. <laughs> I, I do, I'm not a spy for Star Stable. Equestrian says, you're gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> it's perfectly fine to be gay. I know people who are gay. I'm a an ally of people in the LGBTQ community, but no, I'm not gay. Oh God, oh my God. It's a calamity. Heather Autumn something says, you love making videos. I do, and I really do really love making videos. Um, just all types of videos. Sometimes it can be really draining on work, but at the end of the day, I do enjoy it. Um, April Oakfall, hello April, says you're a person people instantly go to for advice in real life. Um, it depends on the subject because I'm pretty sucky in some aspects. Like for example, I cannot cook. I cannot cook for the life of me. I will burn down a kitchen before I learn how to make macaroni. So they don't <laughs> go for advice. I give quite good people advice because of the fact that if you're looking at a some, a situation from outside of that situation you get a much better view of what the facts are and what's real and what's kind of clouding emotions so yes i suppose april oakfall also says you like to make others feel included because you know how it feels to be lonely and i know that you don't mean that in a, a rude way but you're actually correct um growing up we all go through phases where you know I was definitely in the popular crew at one point um, and then you go through phases where you don't really have many friends and you have maybe one good friend um, but certainly yeah I do know how it is to feel left out and I know how, to, how it is to feel like lonely because I think the best thing for somebody with an influence say on, socially online is before that influence trying to get like looking up to influencers and how they behaved and how that made you feel because if somebody just straight up ignored you and didn't try at all to <clears throat> seem kind that kind of hurt a little bit so i can take that knowledge of that happened to me before to kind of apply that to like i don't want to make people feel like that now so i i wouldn't want somebody to feel lonely so because i know how that feels like you're completely correct in that in that way so Good job, April. ZPT Leah says, you secretly hate SSO, but use it for the fame. Interesting. Uh, it's also not true. I don't hate Star Stable. I believe the game has a lot of work to be done, and I still strongly believe Star Stable needs a really good um, MMORPG rival. So another horse game that's just as good and just as kind of inclusive to kind of push the quality up. Because if you're the number one and you have no kind of rival then you're kind of gonna 
not really care. You're kind of going to just do what you want. Whereas if you believe that somebody else is coming and somebody else is going to take that number one spot, you're going to work a lot harder and it's going to be a lot more high quality um, if you believe that your position is at stake. So um, no, I don't hate SSO. Uh, and I don't use it for fame because if I really wanted fame I could literally go on something else and try and make it in that world because at the end of the day Star Stable is a very limited audience there are only so many people that actively play Star Stable and that number even decreases for people who watch Star Stable content so no I do not do Star Stable for the fame uh, I did Star Stable because I loved the game and I loved creating content and fame is kind of a side effect of that Lid XI SSO says you have a large left toe. I genuinely don't know how to answer that. I think it's normal sized. I'm gonna go with yes, it's normal sized. So no. Uh, mpaula.ebz7 says you have horses IRL. I do not, but I wish I did. Um, Sally Blueberry something says you wish you could connect more with the American YouTubers. No. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, there are perks of being a non-American YouTuber and perks of being an American YouTuber. But at the end of the day, I, I don't connect with YouTubers in general. Like, I don't reach out for them for collabs. I don't actively pursue other YouTubers to do collabs because I find that doing stuff on my own and my own way works better for me personally I mean, it's not something that I kind of sit up at night thinking about like oh I wish I knew them you know it's just it doesn't really cross my mind so I'm gonna go with no uh fandom girl 42 says you're an introvert um no actually I'm an ambivert so I get uh, a lot of buzz out of uh socializing but at the end of the day when everything's over I need to recoup and I need to become an introvert um, and then after doing that for a while I need to go out and socialize again um, because I'll end up feeling really lonely if I don't like do things but I can't have too much of either like I can't be too much of an introvert and I can't be too much of an extrovert so that's what an ambivert means so yes I'm an ambivert so no I'm not an introvert and all is going well until this happened the viewers sake oh no network <laughs> Okay then, I suppose that's over. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, I might do a part two since I got so many other assumptions. And if you like the format of this video, do let me know since I'm trying new things out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive, and I will see you in the next video.